analysis. Right? It splits. So when it's split now, we have what? Two cubes. Yes. What is the other way? No, it has to start from the terminal. It always has to start from the terminal. Okay? So for this case now, right? We now know that this is too This is where it's tricky. You need, this is why this question is very, very interesting. You have to understand the concept really, really well. When is it Q and when is it two Q? So now we have a split, that's why it's two Q, okay? So the first moment of area, Q at point C, the width is one eight, the depth is 1.25, 1.25 divided by 2. So this is the easy part. The first moment of area calculation is easy. 1 over 8 times by 1.25 times by 1.25 divided by 2 is equal to 97.656 times 10 to the power minus 3 in just cube. Let me do it again. Okay, 1.25 times by 1.25 divided by 2 times by 1 over 8. So it's 97.656. Okay, so if we look at Point C, 97.656, okay? Then we have, we have the shear stress at point C. So we know that V is two times 10 to the power three. The Q is 97.656 times 10 to the power minus three. The I, okay, is 1.23818, two, one over eight. Because you have what? 2Q. That is why the rules that I make up, okay, is V and I are always what? Constant. If you don't apply the rules, it is so complex to analyze structure like this, okay? So this is equal to 2 power 3 times by 97.656 power minus 3 divided by 1.23818 divided by 2 divided by 1 over 8. The answer is A. Eh, 2 power 3 times 97.656 power minus 3 divided by 1.23818 divided by 2 divided by 1 over 8 is equal to 630.964 or 965 ESI. Okay, as I said, I have not a clue is this right or wrong. Point C 0 0.631. Okay, we get 0 0.630965. So they round it up is 0 0.631. Our answer is exactly the same. Then now we find at point D. Okay, so shear stress at point B, again, it is a box beam analysis. Because Q go to one side, Q go to the other side. So box beam again. Okay, so you have what? Two Q. Okay, so once you have two Q again, so the area to consider now, now you have to include this area. Okay, you have to include this area now. Okay, so that your Q at point B is equal to 97.656 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus by the width. Okay, so this one you have to do twice, okay, because uh, twice. So this distance is, uh, I think we calculate this, this, this gap over here is what? Down here is 1.8. Down here is 1 over 16. So 1.25 minus by 1 over 8 minus by 1 over 16. So 1.25 minus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16 is equal to eh, 1.25 minus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 16. 1.25 1. 
zero six two five. The width, the depth, then it's one point two five minus by one over the six eight one eight, and then multiply by half again. So this will be equal to 1.25 minus 1 over 8 minus 1. Eh, 1.25 minus 1 over 8 times 1 over 2. Times by 1 over 8 times by 1.0625 times 2. So it's equal to 97.656 times by 10 to the power minus 3. Plus by 315.43 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, let me do it again. 1 over 8 times 1 over 2, 1.25 minus by 1 over 16 times by 1 over 8 times by 1.0625 times 2. So it's 315.43. So this will be equal to 97.656 power minus 3 plus by 315.43 power minus 3. It's equal to 413.086. Times 10 to the power minus 3 inches cube. Okay, so 413.09. So ours is 413.086. So they round it off. Okay, so the shear stress at point B is equal to again 2 times 10 to the power 3. Multiply 413.086 times 10 to the power minus 3. Divide by 1.23818. Box beam one twice one over eight. Okay, so this is two power three times four one three point zero eight six power minus three divided by one point two three eight one eight divided by two divided by one over eight. So it's equal to two point six six or two point six six nine times ten to three psi. Okay, so if I were to two point six six nine. So 2.67, and we got 669. So point B is the same. And finally, do you all want me to do point A? Okay, I'll do point A also. Okay, so again, the same. Shear stress at point A. So this we know is also box beam. Analysis. Okay. So we know that this is equal to what? 2Q, right? It's still equal to 2Q. So we know that Q at point A is equal to uh, 413.086 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus by twice the width is 1 over 8 multiplied by 1.25 times by Y bar is 1.25 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 413.086 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus 1.25 times 1.25 divided by 2 times 1 over 8 times 2. 195.313 times 10 to the power minus 3. So this is going to 413.086 power minus 3 plus 195.313 power minus 3. It's equal to 608.399 times 10 to the power minus 3 inches cube. Okay, so do they get 608 also? Yeah, they got 608.40, we got 399. Okay, so therefore, again, the shear stress at point A, I'm going to copy the whole thing up here. V and I and T are all the same. The only thing that changes is this. Okay, so it's 608.399 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, 2 power 3 times 608.399 power minus 3 divided by 1.23818 divided by 2 divided by 1 over 8. 3.93, 1 times 10 to power 3, ESI, 3.913. So if you go back at A, it's 3.93, okay? 
So as I say, uh, this question is not impossible. Uh, you have to know when is it Q and when is it 2Q? Yes. The area concern for A is this whole area first. Let me finish one part of your question first. Okay. Because the Q splits. One go to the left, one go to the right. The area of concern for D is here. Because it starts from the terminal. Right, the web controls the flow. You, you, you have to, because the flow starts from point E, the terminal. Right, okay. That's a very good question, okay. You have to start, the analysis always starts from the terminal or ends on the terminal, okay. Okay, previous question. No, 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 no. You cannot relate one question to the other because they are all different. You have to understand the concept. You cannot look at the trend. You have to apply the rules that I have set. Then you can apply. You cannot look at both questions and try to answer yourself. No, you have to understand the rules first. So the terminal, the flow starts from the terminal. The stress is equal to zero at the where? Terminal for both. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to stop recording now. I'm going to stop the uh, tutorial now, okay? I'll see you. So next week is reading week. There's nothing, okay? There's no quiz. So I'll see you guys back in the following week. And I'll still post the homework, okay? If that's the case, have a good reading week. And make sure to do all your corrections. Excuse me, sir. Yes. And is there a so quiz due the week have, after reading that's week? Good. No, no, you you have to uh, ask the question individually, please. Hold on, let me stop recording first.